Is the AWS Cloud Consulting Professional Certificate actually worth it? That's the question I'll answer in this video. It's a course directly from Amazon, or more specifically AWS together with Coursera. So you're learning from the best. It's for complete beginners with no prior experience or education needed to start a career as a cloud tech consultant. But is it actually worth it when there are so many other certificates and courses available out there? Now, cloud skills are some of the highest paying tech skills right now, with a lot of open jobs and high salaries. You you can start out as a cloud tech consultant and move into other roles like cloud architect with an average salary of around $150,000 per year. We have cloud developer with $130,000, cloud system administrator with around $100,000, and so on. They're also really helpful to get a job as a data engineer and even a data scientist or a data analyst. Cloud is simply one of the most valuable skills you can learn right now to get a high paying job. And many of these jobs also allow you to work remotely because you're working in the cloud. Back to the certificate itself. It's a very new one, but the reviews are fantastic and I'm sure we'll see a ton of people enroll in this course. So the earlier you are the better because you're not going to be competing with as many people once you receive the certificate. It's four months at 10 hours per week although as usual with Coursera courses many people claim that you can do them faster and this is my own experience as well. I've usually done the courses in about half the time that they've said. It's supposed to help you start a career as a cloud tech consultant which means you'll advise clients on the use of cloud technologies like AWS to meet business objectives. No degree or experience is required and it's available in eight different languages. So what is AWS? Well, it's a cloud computing platform owned by Amazon, one of the most popular ones in the space. We also have platforms like Microsoft Azure and Google Cloud Platform available. Some of the skills you learn are going to transfer over and other are going to be specific to AWS. A cloud platform offers computing resources in different forms to individuals and companies, both small in scale and in huge amounts of resources. It's basically a solution where instead of each company having to build large data centers and set up a lot of infrastructure for their servers and their applications, which may not actually be used all the time and be very expensive, they can instead rent the resources they need from Amazon. It's very practical and easy to use, and there are many benefits to cloud computing. It offers companies the scalability that they need, they can quickly get the resources that they want without having to build more data centers. It also allows them to be more reliable because AWS only works with this thing, they're experts, and it's also more affordable for the companies because you only pay for the resources you actually need. No wasted resources, you can scale up and scale down depending on how much computing power or resources your company needs. One example that I've seen recently is when a website has a Black Friday sale. That means that a huge number of people is going to visit the same website at the same time, which could crash the website because it can't handle the volume. One way to prevent this is to significantly increase the resources available at all times, but that's going to be a very expensive solution. And in Instead, you can scale up and down depending on what's needed at a certain moment. Back to the course. The skills you'll gain are cloud computing security, cloud management, problem solving, cloud strategy, data management, cloud architecture, interpersonal communication, and finally teamwork. I love the last one. They just had to include teamwork to make it sound really professional. Great job. What's more interesting are the actual courses themselves. So let's take a look. We have course one, introduction to information technology and AWS cloud. Then AWS cloud cloud essentials, providing technical support for WS workloads, developing applications in Python on AWS. So they're throwing in some Python programming as well for beginners. And then we have course five, skills for working as an AWS cloud consultant, DevOps on AWS and project management, automation in the AWS cloud. And also we're in the age of automation. So this is really useful stuff. And then actually some data analytics and databases. And finally, a capstone where you'll do a hands-on project about following the AWS Well Architect framework. Nine courses in total, and not all of them have reviews, as you can see, but the ones that do have an amazing rating. It's because all the courses are not released yet, but all courses should be released by the end of 2023. So you can still get started now. It shouldn't really slow you down unless you're incredibly fast. Now let's talk about some pros and cons about this course. There are many good things, but I also have some concerns. The first thing is I really like that they're training people on these skills. They are in incredibly high demand, and people that learn things like cloud will have a great career opportunities. It's also very affordable, only 50 bucks a month, and if you compare that to college or a boot camp, it's pretty much nothing. And they even have a free trial, which I'll leave a link to below, and they also have a financial aid for those who cannot afford it. So everyone can take this course, there are no financial obstacles, and I love that. I also like how they teach a mixture of technical skills for cloud, but also some other useful stuff like basic data analytics and databases on AWS, and DevOps and just helpful things in general. It's going to 
expand your skill set in many different areas and give you a good overall understanding of how AWS and cloud can be used. And that's very valuable as well. Most people have no idea of all the cool things we can do in cloud. It can also help you later if you want to specialize in something and go down that path because you've already been introduced to a couple of different things so you can find what you like and what you don't like and all of this in a quick course instead of studying specific things and realizing that you actually hate it. So many pros about this one. But when it comes to the downsides I would say that it's mostly about how the course is presented. I don't like the fact that they claim to bring a beginner to a new career as a cloud consultant right away. The hard truth is that you're probably going to need more than just this course. It's still relatively short. I mean four months at 10 hours per week is about 160 hours of studying. And that's like one university course. Is it enough to learn everything about a cloud? Well no. But it's also way more efficient than most other methods because you'll learn the most in demand and useful skills directly from Amazon themselves. So just know that a degree is going to be very helpful and even required for some of the roles as well as other experience and just learning more in general. But this course can definitely help you get on the right track towards a career as a cloud tech consultant regardless of your prior experience or education. So for that alone I'll give this course a 9 out of 10 rating. I'm going to leave a link to the free trial to Coursera Plus and the course itself in the description if you want to use my link and support the channel but you can also find it online for yourself. Thanks for watching.